Ready to be magnified. God is a good God. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. No matter what it looks like. God is still in control. Amen. God is still doing what he has promised in his word that he would do. Hallelujah. Lord, keep me day by day in a pure and perfect way. I want to live. I want to live on in a building I made by hand. Yes. Lord, keep my This Christian race to a building I made by hand, Lord. I'm just a stranger here. Yes, I am traveling through this very land. Lord, I know there's a building somewhere, and it's a building I made by hand. I believe I say that again. Woo, Jesus. I'm just a stranger here. Yes, I am passing through. This very land, give me the grace, Lord, to run this old race to a building I made by hand, Lord. Lord, keep me day by day. And perfect way, give me the grace, Lord, to run this old race to a building not made by hand. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Sometimes we just got to ask God for to give us the grace just to run this Christian race. Because we be going through so much. Hallelujah. And we don't want our flesh to overtake our spirits. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, I thank you, God. I give you the glory and I give you all the praise because you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Shande. God, I thank you and I praise you. If you got your Bibles, turn to Deuteronomy. The fourth chapter. Twenty-ninth verse through the thirty-first verse. We're gonna work on those. Amen. Hallelujah. He's so worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Fourth chapter. Twenty-ninth through the thirty-first verse. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, 29 to the 31st verse. And it reads as follows. But if from this thou shalt seek the Lord, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thine heart and with all thy soul, 
When thou art in tribulation and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God and shall be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swore upon them. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this word, God. Now, Father God, hide me behind the cross, O oh God. Father God, give me a spiritual ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. Lord, I decrease in order that you may increase within me. Lord, allow this word to go out like fire, God, to burn up every impurity, O oh God. Father God, allow this word to go out like fire, to touch the heart of the people, and even those that do not know your darling son Jesus, that God, they may come running and saying, what must I do to be saved? And God, we thank you, God, and we shall forever give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray, and let the church say, Amen. 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 And if you need a title on today, it's Seek the Lord. <laughs> seek the Lord Amen. when you know who you are you will not struggle of, of knowing what other people label you to be or what other people think you should be according to how they feel about you because you know who you are because why do you know who you are? Because you are seeking the Lord. And the more you seek the Lord, the more God will also reveal himself to you. But then most of all, reveal yourself. Come on here, somebody. Because when you seek the Lord and then God starts showing you you, that is an ugly sight. Huh. It's some things you don't even want God to touch. Come on here, somebody. That's why people today is not seeking God like they should be seeking him because they don't want God to uncover their mess. Oh, my God. This is going to be tight, but it's right. Oh, my God. That was the attitude Jesus had regarding the woman at the well. Come on here now. As she approached the well with the water pots on her shoulder. And you know these water pots can be heavy. And you know we have burdens that are on our shoulders that are heavy as well. And we can't carry them. We got to leave it at the feet of Jesus. This woman here was upset. She was worried. But then Jesus went straight to the heart of the problem. See, that's what Jesus does. When you seek him, Jesus goes straight to the heart of your problem. He do not pity pat with you. He going to come correct to you. That's why you got to come correct to him. Because in this day, in this hour, if we are not coming correct to God, God is exposing. Because you refuse to get yourself together. Hallelujah. So Jesus went straight to the heart of the problem. And he says, whoever drinks of this water, come on here somebody, will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him, huh, you ain't going to never thirst no more. That's why you got to get what Jesus wants you for the have. Because the more you hunger and thirst after him, the more he will fill you up every time. The more you seek him with all your heart, all your mind, all your spirit, all your soul, the more God is cleansing you. The more he is cleaning out the impurities. Oh, come on, get somebody. Oh, my God. And so Jesus went on to tell her all about herself. Oh, my God. And her five husbands. Come on here, somebody. Because when you, and then I'm going to help the single women. That's why God says mm, marriage is honorable in his sight. God does not approve of shacking. God does not approve of fornication. I'm going to help the men and the women out. Every time you fornicate with a man or with a woman, you are depositing their spirits within you. And you wonder why you acting crazy? 
You wondering why you is cool one day, the next day you not. You got too many spirits inside of you. Every time you sleep with somebody that is not your husband or your wife, their spirit is deposited in you. Now this woman had five husbands. She was seeking relief from somebody. But she didn't go to the right person, which was Jesus. Come on here, somebody. Oh, my God. Things she was going through, only God knew about. You can't go to your friend for everything. Oh, my God. Justin, they go tell somebody. And then your business out there on the street. Wondering why. When you go through, see Jesus. <laughs> the right person in your life so that you have spirit. Come on. You have to worry about your business being out there in the street. Come on here, somebody. Like the woman at the well, she was wounded. She was upset. The turn. Kind of hurt that only the answers from Jesus you have to go to yeah. to get the answers from Him because you can't get it from nobody else. Oh my God, to thee! Oh my God, this kind of hurt because she experienced a hurt that nobody cannot heal her but Jesus. Walking around here with hurt. Oh my God, that nobody couldn't heal but Jesus. That's why God says, seek me while I can be found. Yes, right there. And you want to seek him in the midnight hour. Because let me tell you something, you are in the stillness right there. Yes. When, when it's in the midnight hour, it's just you and Jesus. It's no distractions from nobody else in the midnight hour. Because Paul and Silas cried out in the midnight hour. And guess what happened? A miracle was performed. They was broken out. That's why in the midnight hour is crucial. What is your midnight hour? What is your midnight hour? My God to thee. My God to thee. Oh my God. So she was looking for something. you something. No alcohol, no cigarettes, nothing can fill the void but Jesus. No man, no woman can fill that void but Jesus. You having five different is coming up because you're looking for a void that you are asking man to fill when nobody can fill it. This woman tried everything she could, but she failed. But when she came in contact with Jesus, she became a winner. Oh, come on here. My God. Oh, my God. Her answer, she knew her answer was not in man. But her answer was in the man. Which was Jesus Christ. But after she met Jesus at the well. She didn't go back to what she came out of. She didn't go back home. She went to another city. And she told everyone. Come see about this man. Who told me about my life. Oh, come on here, somebody. Right. Do you remember the day you first accepted yeah. Savior? Yeah. You wanted everybody to be saved. Yeah. That's all you did was just talk about him. Yeah. You went and you told somebody, come see, come see, and come encounter the man that I just encountered that had just All right, man. When this woman encountered Jesus, she was no longer the same. She was 
finna encounter that. Sometimes we don't know what we get You entertain angels unaware. Because you don't know what God may have you to encounter on that day. Oh God. Jesus, Jesus. Oh my God. This woman could never rid herself. And I hear it all the time. I got to wait until I get myself together for to come to Jesus. If that I could get myself together, I wouldn't even need Jesus. Jesus take you just as you are. A wretch undone. So he can mold you and shape you so you can be on display for the world. Come on here somebody. All right, huh? Are you on display for Jesus? Yes. Oh my God to thee. I get a little shot. Are you one of his mantles? Yes. Can somebody say they see Jesus in your life? Yes. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to help somebody here now. All right. We can talk. God said we can talk to talk, but when it's actually time to encounter something, yes, Lord. can you go through it? Uh -huh. Oh my God, the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm. Jesus. Jesus. She could never rid herself of the old man until she met the new man. Yes, Lord. When you meet the new you, come on here, somebody, you have the power to say goodbye to the old you. Yes. All right. But as long as you have the old you attached to you, you cannot rid yourself and to accept the newness, the new you. Oh, my God. If something has attached itself to you that is not of God, you will not be able to break it. It has to be God. Because if you do it yourself, you wouldn't need it. Showed oh up. my God, to thee. Because the Bible said in James 4 and 7, it says, submit. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. Yes, Lord. Up. Long as you walking and praying with the enemy, yes. you are not submitted to God. Let me say that again. As you walk and pray with the devil, you are not submitted to God. Because in this day and hour, and always, Satan plays for key. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And I tell them all the time, if you living in your mess, shacking and fornicating, smoking and cussing and everything, else, God is not blessing you. Yes, God reigns on the just as well as the unjust, but God has strategic. Yes. He has an itinerary yes, Lord. of how you shall live according to this word. And if you not live it according to the word of God, God is not blessing you. The devil blesses as well as God. Yes, but what it is with Satan, Satan don't get you so high until he pull a rug from underneath you. Bring you right back there because yes. number one, you ain't get no higher than Lucifer, which is Satan himself. Yes, Lord. My God. My God. Why do you think God kicked him out of heaven? Come on here, somebody. Because he thought he was mightier than God. Yes. <laughs> so what makes you think that that mm, Satan is gonna make you get higher than him? Come on here, somebody. I'm, I'm, I'm. Thank you. Thank you. The Bible said. That the very elect shall be fooled. So, if the very elect shall be fooled, who are we? Who is to say we can't be fooled? Come on here. Satan can put a camouflage up to make it look like it's come on here, somebody. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. And pull you into the web of deception. I've seen so many great powerful men yes, and women that have dropped down to Satan level mm -hmm. because they was fooled to the camouflage thinking it was God. Yes, Satan has even taken people out through the way of because the pressures of the world 
He fools the very elect. Come on here. He is the ultimate manipulator. That's why Satan had this woman at the well so bound. She was searching in other men yeah. to fulfill a void that only Jesus could fill. Oh, but when she had that encounter, yes, don't you know Satan was mad? Yes, Lord. Yes, he was mad. Because she did not stop. She wasn't selfish. Yeah. She went to the city and she told everybody else, come see this man. Yes, Lord. Come see this man that I just came in common with that saved me from me. It's all right now. Jesus satisfies. Come on, get somebody. Yes, he does. Everyone else may, oh my God, pacify your spirits and pacify yeah. your addictions and pacify your demons. But Jesus purifies and satisfies. All right, now. Oh my God. Oh, you're the That's why it's not good yeah. to put your trust in man. Uh -huh. Because I'd rather you tell me my error yeah. than to make me think I am not walking in error. You are a true spiritual father yes. or a true spiritual mother if you tell your sons and daughters yeah. where they are walking in error. If they never walking in error, it's something wrong with you. We cannot pacify. And if we as spiritual sons and daughters, we got to learn how to accept correction. Yes. You cannot grow in the kingdom of God if you do not accept correction. Come on here, somebody. All right, now. Go ahead. Speak. Show it up. God even rebukes us. Yes, Lord. Once we get out of hand. Show it up. Yes, he do. And he gives the authority yeah. to his men and women of God to do the same. We should be in the place to know whether or not it's, it's from God or flesh. Show it up. Oh my God, today. Yes, Lord. Go ahead. Preach it. In this day and hour, we got to seek His presence mm -hmm. because God meets every need and every yearning that we have before Him. Yes, Lord. The more we hunger and thirst after Him, mm -hmm. the more He will come to us. Yes. He hears the very cry up. of His children. But see, some of us like to have pity parties when things don't go our way. Oh, yeah. yes. oh my God. Mama. I believe I say that again. Yes. Some of us like to have pity parties yes. when things don't go our way. Yes. Or when we get tired of being in this trial, yes. God, come on here and take me out. No, you need to learn just a little bit more. Yes. That's what God will tell you. No, you until you learn. That's what a loving father would do. That's what a caring father would do. Even in the natural, that's what they would do. Oh, woman of God, I have seen so many people. They get ordained one day, the next day they want to go out to the nations. Sit down, you ain't learned nothing. You ain't been through you tackled. Yes, Lord. Going up. Going up. Oh, my God, to thee. No, what's going to happen? You going out there too fast. Demons going to eat you up. Going up. My, my, my. And run you back to the altar. Jesus. Yes, but a yes. true mother, spiritual mother, a true spiritual father, a true pastor would say, sit down. Yes. Right, Going up. And be taught. Yeah. And until God tells me to release you, I will release you. Uh -huh. yes. And you have to accept it without getting an attitude. Because uh -huh. God can't use you with no attitudes. Come on here. God can't use people with attitudes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every trouble because I keep seeing the woman at the well mm -hmm. with the water pots, yeah. which was burning her down. Because yeah. she had inner, had inner things going on. For the water pots to be heavy, and that was just adding more on to her. Up. That's 
That's how Jesus was. He didn't see the natural water pots. He went straight to her spirit. Straight to the heart of the problem. Spoke it out. And she was delivered. I told God, I said, God, that's what I want. I don't want to tackle no demons. Laying hands. I want to do what Jesus did. Spoke to that demon and they came out. But you know what? That takes a sacrifice. Come on here, somebody. Oh my God, he could have a motion. That takes a sacrifice for you. Seek the Lord. For God is merciful. Yes. God is faithful. God said in his word he will never leave you. Oh, yes. Nor forsake you. We may leave God. Yes. But God will never leave us. Because God is married to the backslider. Yes, Lord. I don't care how many times. Oh my God. That we may stray out in the world. That word down on the inside of us pulls us back into the house of God and pulls us back into the presence of God. Let me tell you something. You are just a misfit out there in the world. All right now. Go ahead. You can't fit in the world once you done gave your life over to Jesus. You can't do what the world do. We are set apart. And the Bible says, anybody who loves the world is an enemy to God. And I wouldn't dare be no enemy to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So seek God. And this is the perfect time to seek him right now. Because Lord knows we got hurricanes after hurricanes coming up. And y'all know that's not natural. Come on here, somebody. God is trying to tell us something. And with this pandemic, God is trying to tell us something. So we got to seek him like never before. Oh, my God. That is our covenant. <laughs> oh, my God. Once we seek God, our covenant becomes stronger. Yeah. God. That is our covenant with him. Uh-huh. To seek him. And the more you seek him, the more God is going to talk to you. Yes, he's going to talk. You may not like what he's saying, but then you got to hear it anyway. Come on here, somebody. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. Shoo. You be like, okay, God, you sending me here, and you know these people is stubborn. Yeah. Go here. But God said your obedience is what I'm looking for. No matter what their faces look like. Can you stand and still give the message that I put in your mouth? Mm -hmm. Come on, you're somebody. All right, now. See, some people don't want to seek him because they're scared of what God may say. Yeah. Hey, hello. 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 But I done passed that test. Yes, ma'am. And see, some tests you got to pass in order for to get to the next level. Because you don't want to be like them who is right. Come on here, somebody. And Lord, no, we got some of them now. Just going round and round and round. And refuse to hear the voice of God. Come on here. And when you don't know, once you hear the voice of God, it will bring you out quicker. Just obedience. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. So the Lord God is saying on today. Seek him. Seek him now while he can be found. Uh-huh. Seek him now. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Is there anybody mm-hmm. that don't know Jesus in the pardon of their sins? The altar is open. Yes, Lord. It's open on today. Or if you just need prayer. Mm-hmm. If you just need prayer. Yes, Lord. The altar is open. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's so worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Seek the Lord. 
Sister Vera, seek the Lord. Hallelujah. That's all he say. Tell him to seek me. I get a deal, oh There is reasons why they keep canceling. They keep canceling. Ooh, mama, they drop a shot. God say, tell her again to seek me. Mm, how you did you go, oh shit. Don't get discouraged. And, and I hear him say, don't be anxious for nothing. But just tell her again to seek me. Hallelujah. Erase fear and erase doubt. How you did you go, shit. God say, he's going to take you through this. He's going to take you through. He's going to take you through this. Hallelujah. Mm. Whose report you gonna believe? Mm. Whose report? You gonna believe? It's only for a little while. Hallelujah. But he said, "Tell her again to seek me, cause I have the answer." God said he has the answer. Think it not strange all these delays. He has the answer. He got the answer. He had it up old shot. He said he done brought you this far. And he's taking care of you this far. And he's going to do it the rest of the way. I get it up old shit. Woo, my little old shot. God said your prayers has been answered. Tell her that I'm doing exactly what she had asked me to do. Yes. Oh, my God. Even concerning your children. Yes, Lord. Oh, it's already done. Yes. Oh, God. He said, your health is based on what you eat. Mm -hmm. yes. The sickness in your body mm -hmm. can be eliminated. Yes. Only by watching what you eat. How you did your go shot. And cutting back on some stuff. Yes. Mm. Mama, mama. The way we eat determines how our body functions. Yes, Lord. Just like we feed our spirit mm -hmm. with the word of God. Yes, Lord. We got to feed our natural body with whole stuff, yes. organic stuff, pure stuff, fruits, yes. vegetables, yes. eliminate some red meat and, and mm. all that stuff that is not good for our bodies. Yes. And watch how we rejuvenate mm -hmm. and watch how we have more energy because yes, we got to watch our intake because yes. the devil will deprive us and make us eat the wrong things that we are not supposed to eat. Hallelujah, Jesus. To break our bodies down in the natural so we can't do what God has called us to do. Hey, God. For Him. That's why many times we got to watch our intake. Hallelujah. And, man of God, you was talking about arthritis. Yes. And the Lord said, it's some things that you are eating is a form of that arthritis. I don't know if you like tomatoes and sodas and all of that. That triggers it. Ooh, I've been really on it. Because I told God, I said, God, sickness does not belong in the body of Christ. Who mother the your bow shot? Because you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord God of healing thee. God give it to me. Why are the saints of God falling ill to this spirit of sickness? He said, because they are eating the wrong things. They have to watch their physical intake. Who mother the bow shot? Because once I start studying this word, I say, wait a minute. I say the men of old. Live to be 900 years old. Who, my man, that are both shy. And they was healthy. Come on here, somebody. The same God back then is the same God now. Uh-uh, God, you got to tell me. Sickness does not reign in the body of Christ. Oh, my God, that are shit. God say they have to watch their intake. Tell them to eat more fruits and vegetables. 
Tell them to drink more water. Oh, you know, the shot. Anoint themselves everywhere they go. Jesus. God say, remind him of his word concerning you. Come on here, somebody. Oh, baby, I've been on it. I've been questioning God. Because some things that has been happening in the body of Christ shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Oh, my little old shot. And I've been hearing this, people of God. God say, store up. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Store up on water. Dry goods. Keep cash on hand. Oh, my God. How you little old shot. Keep you a backpack. We experience Hurricane Laura, but something greater is coming. God say, some of them was caught unguarded. But God say, this time you won't. Yes. If you will hear the woman of God, yes. God say, store up. Yes. Store up. Yes. Right now. Yes. Because y'all think that the ones that's out there in the Atlantic Ocean mm -hmm. is making up four, four of them out there now. Yes. And one of them is coming right for mm -hmm. Louisiana. Texas, thank you, Holy Ghost. Who, yes. Mother Dio Bosha, Mississippi. Who, yes. Mother Dio Bosha, even California. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. God say, store up. Sure. Because this is going to be devastating. Yes. That's why God said, you got, yes, shit, take it to You got to seek me now. Because I'm going to give you instructions that man can't give you. Oh, my God. I'm going to give you these. Yes. From my word. Whew. Some of us got to be like that ant. That little ant. That ant was storing up. Everybody else was doing their thing, but that ant was storing up. Some of us got to be like them ants now. We got to store up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God to be. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. There's a great deception that's going to be in uncovered in the state of Louisiana, particularly Alexandria, and it's already happening now. God is doing some cor uncovering corruption now. He has to allow it to happen because the people has put their faith in the governmental system and not the kingdom system. Some people have made people gods. God is going to even expose corruption in some men and women of God who proclaim to be one thing, but on the outside, oh, mother of all shot, they are dealing with homosexuality and lesbianism and everything else and pornography. God is uncovering this. You can't say you live for God and doing the things of the world. My God, God has dealt with him long enough, so now it's time for the uncovering to take place. Who, yes. my God, to thee. Father, I thank you right now, and I glorify you. Yes. God, I thank you for the ones that's on the altar on today, God. Yes. Lord God, you know every need. God, you even know, God, what they are standing in need of. Now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, move by your spirit and move by the anointing. Because you declared that the anointing mm, destroys every yoke, God. And Father God, in Ekundorobosha, God, move upon them right now. Give them a fresh anointing, God, in the name of Jesus. Let your manna fall from on high. God, we thank you for that word. That, God, we will seek you like never before, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And, God, we will be careful to give you the praise and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Thank Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus.